example 4. dy over dx equals xy over x squared minus y squared. Step 1. To write down the given equation in the form we have written in red. So we have dy equals xy over x squared minus y squared dx xy over x squared minus y squared dx minus dy equals 0. Step 1 complete. Step 2. To check if this equation is homogeneous or not. To do this, we need to consider the p and q functions. In our case, p function equals xy over x squared minus y squared and q equals negative 1. Let's see. p of dx and dy equals dx dy over d squared x squared minus d squared y squared Obviously, we can divide the top and the bottom by t squared and we'll obtain x, xy over x squared minus y squared. Now we can see that the p function is homogeneous of 0 degree. And so is the q function. Now as we know that p and q functions are homogeneous and both, both are homogeneous of 0 degree, our equation is homogeneous. Now we can move to step B. I should have erased the equation, but I can restore it. x, y, x squared minus y squared, dx minus dy equals 0. Now, step 3. We introduce the new variable. u equals y over x. And then y equals u times x and dy equals du times x plus dx times u. Step 4. To put the new variable into the given equation and to solve it for u. I'll rewrite our equation one more time y over x squared minus y squared dx minus dy equals 0. And now we're substituting u. So we have x times y, but y equals u times x, so we have x times u times x over x squared minus y squared, but again y equals u times x, so we have u squared x squared dx minus dy, which is equal to this expression. So we go minus du times x minus dx times u, and this whole thing equals zero. Now let's see. We can divide both top and the bottom of this fraction by x squared, so we'll obtain u over 1 minus u squared dx minus du times x minus dx times u equals 0. Now we can factor out dx and obtain u over 1 minus u squared and then minus u dx minus du times x equals 0. Now, this is an equation with separable variables. So it goes u over 1 minus u squared minus u dx equals 
x du and then dx over x equals du over u over 1 minus u squared minus u. And then we need to integrate the left and the right. Absolute value 
of y over x.